hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video we are going to learn how to use google's word processing app on our mobile device i mean how to use it to type our letters how to use it to um, work on our cvs and then anything that has to do with document with just our mobile device stay with me don't go anywhere i'll be right back Welcome back everyone, my name is Kim Kobe. I am an IT systems engineer, a digital marketing consultant. Now in this video, as I said earlier, we are going to learn how to use Google Docs on just our mobile device without the help of a laptop. So what we are going to use is Google Docs, an app by Google, it is available on the Google Play Store and also available on the Apple App Store. So whether you are using an iOS device or an Android device, this tutorial is for you. Now after installing the app, you just launch it and then you'll be presented with this interface that you are seeing on your screen right now. So to create a document, what we'll do is that we'll just tap on the plus icon at the bottom right corner and then we can choose from the templates that are available or we can choose to create a new document. Let's just choose from the templates that are available and then I would like to explore the template and I will choose report so these are just random text generated by the app so i can just go ahead and then edit it let's go back one beautiful thing about the google docs app is that any changes you make it's saved automatically so you don't have to worry yourself saving files here and there anytime it saves it in real time so any changes that you make to your document is saved and it saves it in um, the Google Docs. It also saves in your Google Drive so the file will be available anywhere whenever you want. You need internet connection to work on the file but the interesting thing is that you can make your file available offline so that anytime you want to make changes to it you can just do it and then when you have internet connection the changes will just synchronize. Let's look at how we can do that. So I tap on the three dots just by my documents and then you can see that it is automatically like that but you can just choose to turn it off by just tapping on it and then if you want to turn it on just press the three dots again and then come back to tap it to make it available and then it synchronizes for you. Let's go ahead and create another document. So I'll click plus I will still choose. So if you want to create a new document from scratch where you'll be presented with a blank page, just choose new document and you start typing. So this is just a test document this video. So I have my text type. If I'm done, I'll just go ahead and tap on the check mark to just indicate that I'm done. I can go ahead and then rename my document. So I'll just tap and then change to test document. Okay. Now I have my document renamed beautifully. Now the next thing you can do is to go ahead and then share the document with other people. So let's say it's an application letter or a CV that you have typed and then you would want people to or you would want a friend to look at it for review what you can do is that you can just tap the three dots at the top right corner and then you choose share and export now i would just tap on share and then from here i can just choose to add emails of people that i would want to collaborate with on the document so that they can have access to it or I can just make it a universal link where anybody at all who have access to their link can access my document. How do we do that? So instead of adding people or instead of adding emails, I can just tap on this padlock icon here. And then now it says it's restricted. So I'll just change it and now make it anyone with the link. Now after that, he says that anyone with the link is a viewer, but I want anyone with the link to be able to edit my document. So I'll tap 
on this drop down and then now i can choose editor what the commentator does is that the person will have access to the document but then cannot make changes to the document they can just comment on where he or she thinks that there is a correction to be made right so i'll choose editor and then right at the top corner here i'll just press this link and then it's copies to my clipboard what i'm left to do is to just share the link with anybody i would want them to help me work on this document now the beautiful thing is that aside the document being saved in your google drive you can also go ahead to save it outside google drive to your mobile device so that you can have access to it without opening the google drive or the google doc app i'll cover that aspect in the next video so stay with me come back the next time and it will be worth your time don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that and do well to share with others as well we are on the road to 1k and i believe it is possible with your help stay safe eat well and make the best out of every day my name is king kobe and i'll see you in the next video